This is the Sir William Gowers Centre. It is often referred to as Gowers. Gowers is a hospital ward for people with seizures who need further assessment. Gowers is based at the Epilepsy Society's Chalfont St Peter Centre in Buckinghamshire. Your neurology doctor might ask you to come here after an outpatient appointment at the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery or at Chalfont. You might also be referred here by a doctor from another hospital. When you arrive, report to reception. The administrator on Gowers will meet you and explain what to expect. Today, today you'll be seeing a doctor, she will ask you some questions and once you've seen her, you'll see one of the nursing staff and they will give you a tour of the unit and they'll show you where the lounge is, the dining room. Are you ready to go down to your bedroom now? Yeah. Okay, let's go. You might be asked to stay here for anything from a few days to two weeks or sometimes longer, depending on what tests are needed and if we need to change your epilepsy medication. Here's your key for your day. If you'd like to get yourself unpacked, and once you've sorted yourselves out, come down and sit yourselves in the lounge and make yourselves a cup of tea. OK, thank you. Thank you. You can bring someone with you for support, and your own family or carers can stay with you in some circumstances, but this would need to be arranged in advance. The doctors and nurses will see you regularly during your stay. It helps if you can bring your hospital passport, if you have one. So I see it's a hospital passport and it's all about you. Yes. So should we go through it and just see what is written in there? The nurses and doctors will have lots of questions to ask you and you can ask any questions if you have any. Do you know who is your main carer? Can you explain that again, please? Your main carer, somebody who is looking after you or it's somebody who is from your family? My mum. And she knows that you are here, right? Yes. All right. And you brought some medications with you, is it right? right? Yes. Normally, what time do you take them? After breakfast and after dinner. Whilst you stay at Gowers, you might need to have some tests. I'm going to show you these four pictures and I want you to point to the one that I'm talking about. So, which one is dancing? Show me dancing. Yeah, fantastic. So we'll do another one. And each time, they're just gonna get a tiny bit harder than the last time. You okay. might need a memory test panda. like this, me panda. or a mental health assessment. You may need a blood test, or require an EEG and video telemetry. This is where small sensors are placed on your head and your brain's electrical signals are monitored and recorded. You may need an MRI scan too. Easy read information is available if you'd like it. If you're having an MRI scan, she will ask you to take off all your jewellery, including your watch, to empty your pockets if you're carrying anything metal. This is because the MRI scan machine does not like metal objects and may break. None of these tests should hurt, but please tell us if you're worried or you need extra time. You might also see one of the social workers or occupational therapists. There are lots of activities on Gowers, but you can bring your own belongings with you too, like books, a music player, a small amount of money, some toiletries and clothes, a mobile phone and a tablet computer. Although Gowers is a hospital ward, you do not need to wear pyjamas during the daytime whilst you're staying there. Once the tests and assessments have been completed, you will go home. <laughs>